Be ye therefore blameless and harmless. It's a child of God without rebuke. Wouldn't you love to be that? Will you help me be that? Be ye therefore blameless and harmless as a child of God without rebuke. As a child of God without rebuke. You know, that's veganism. You notice, be ye therefore blameless and harmless. Veganism. Vegan means harmless. Uh, Google, what did you just say? What did you just do? What did you just receive? Spirit of God, descend upon our hearts. Wean us from self through all its pulses move. Stoop not to weakness. Mighty as thou art, and we will love thee as we ought to love. The best Sentinel Watch Christian Science I have ever heard started up yesterday. I wish I could get you that telephone number. You dial the telephone number. And it was a Christian Science practitioner from Oregon named Margaret. I'll get you the last name as soon as I can. And she has the right idea. They talked about climate and what a challenge it is and how serious it is. And her solution was to it was to look at the problem and choose something that you personally could do to improve the situation. It's such a big challenge. So her solution is for you to look at it and do one thing you as an individual can do. And that seems to be her solution to all living. And it's right. It's the best you can say, I think. What is the word, the vocabulary word? Adore. Use it only with its full meaning, which is to regard with fervent devotion. And there's only one that I want to regard with fervent devotion, and that's love itself, to be as loving as we can be. And people with their bad actions throw me off it, and I'm not strong enough to live above it and keep it out of my mind. And then I fall down, and I go days without being that. And then when days when the people don't bother me, I am it. Oh, you're the same way? Yeah. Do you have a joke? I do, I do. A picketer was carrying a sign that said, Time heals all wounds. 
the picketer behind him had another sign that said, time and a half heals him faster. And in the cafeteria, at one end of the counter, was a beautiful pile or a pile of beautiful apples. And a sign was on top of it and it says, take only one. God is watching. At the other end of the cafeteria was a pile of chocolate chip cookies and a sign that said, take as many as you want. God is watching the apples. Big events. An enormous event yesterday, the triumph. A chat with Glendora was on TV and Pittsfield Public Access Television, Pittsfield Community Television. This is a great victory for the whole world. For us, for standing up for Americanism, and seeing the challenge through and jumping through all the hoops that we really didn't have to jump through. For the Supreme Court of the United States, awakening him to the freedom of speech and that public access is an electronic soapbox. And you don't fool around with soapbox in the United States of America. Third, for this... Uh, Pittsfield Public Access TV station that public access doesn't belong to the TV station. It doesn't belong to a few arrogant, selfish, and immature administrators of public access. Let's get down to the business. Public access belongs to the public and for their cooperation and their administration. Are you aware, Pittsfield, that you had no audio on uh, Mr. Uh, Clark's introduction and in closing? But the rest of it was perfect. And to Victoria, who put that program together, and to Wayne, who contributed his reminiscences of Pittsfield since he was born there and has lived there for 74 years. And to the city of Pittsfield, that apparently they got the word they were on their way to the Supreme Court of the United States to be sued for $23 million for violation of public access law. Public access is a law, federal, state, and municipal. It was a triumph all around for all of us. Thank you, world. Thank you, the whole world. Pittsfield Pat came over and did cleaned off the refrigerator a great deal and cleaned up some food and put it in the compost pail and took it out to the back, I hope, and washed the compost pail, did she? And feed the animals and for which he received $30 and for which he got paid $10 gas coming over from Pittsville. She should only pay half of that because she cut her time short, 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock only, so she should go to the uh, Chatham Fair, so we should have a rebate on half of the gasoline, which is ten dollars. And they left at eleven. Glendora heard the TV program in Pittsfield. Thank you, Wayne Collins. 
uh, and Glendora caught up on her praying and a long talk with Suzanne and Suzanne read Glendora a healing from science and health the last 100 pages by Mary Baker Eddy key to the scriptures and it encourages us so to hear of people who have terrible troubles and then they're healed through a right understanding of what God is and who God is. And she caught up on her drinking water. Then she took a nap. Didn't realize she was tired. Took a nap from three to four. Or four to five? Four to five. And then did the other. There's eight stations of medications. Stations. Eight of them. The first one being 40 pure thoughts an hour. Are you still doing that? We haven't talked about that for a long time. 40 pure thoughts an hour. Meditation two is the drilling. Think right. Don't let anything bad, false, ignorant, phony, enter the thinking. Think about the goodness and the greatness of this universe instead. Drilling on that, drilling on it, that God is everything there is, that the truth is, is that God is love and love is God. The truth is, is that you have a relationship with God and you know the substance of God. God is love and you know what love is. Ever since you were in your mother's arms, you've known what love is. God's allness and God's oneness and your oneness with God. And that we're all some of God we have to be because God is all the rest. The rest is phony. All that other bad stuff is phony. Bad thought. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind. And who we are together. We are one together. And we all have a set of talents to do, and that set of talents is to do a special job for the universe that nobody can do as well as we can do, as we told David Letterman on his program when we were on it. And if you don't do it, it's going to nag at you. And you're going to be unhappy. And so that we all end up with the same job to do, to make the universe go and glow and grow. And that's what it's been doing for four billion years. And it's our ancestors, our brothers and our sisters and our parents and our grandparents all the way back who have made this universe as great as it is now. What's the game of the universe? Very, very simple. Creativity. Operation of what has been created. And more and more creativity. And remember the goodness of God. Remember never lie, steal, and cheat. And remember harmless. Big. Be ye therefore blameless, harmless, as a child of God without rebuke. That's veganism. What program number is this? 13,825, something like that. What is the date? September the 4th, Sunday. I said all through the program yesterday that it was September 3rd, Saturday. But I said it was Sunday yesterday. Sorry. Beg your pardon. Yesterday was September 3rd, Saturday. Today is September 4th, Sunday. I did a good deed. I called Ashley because she wants to get up and go to church. So I did that, and she called me back, and she was already up. Good. And Ashley, I would like to have you take a check. I want to write a bank check. 
and put it in the collection. And if you don't have money to put in the offering, I'll give you some money to put in the offering. Uh, Philip, Eddie, did not respond to Glendor's request that he come here Saturday and work from 9 to 1, and that he work Labor Day from 9 to 1, or you could make it Tuesday 9 to 1, Wednesday 9 to 1, and Thursday 9 to 1. He did not respond to the work requests, telephone. So where does that put him? We will survive, but where will we put him? Guess what, folks? We no longer have seven challenges that we had in August and July. An owner who insisted imperiously on 24-7. Carol. Uh, Adult consumer services banging on the door, insisting that they should come in. Gina. Pittsfield. Renewals, we still have that going, the renewals on the TV stations, a useless thing if you ever heard of it. But that's just down to two out of 12. Uh, and Electronics, various electronics. That's seven old. What's the difference between a train and a teacher? A train says choo choo and a teacher says don't chew. Love divine, all love sick, selling. Joy from heaven to earth, calm down. Fix in us thy humble dwelling. <laughs>